Good morning students. Today we will discuss about the flight adaptations in birds. Flight adaptations, before this we have to know what are adaptations. How can you define the term adaptation? Adaptations are the modifications or changes in the body in the morphology, anatomy and physiology of animals uh, to adjust in them in the new environment. These are called adaptations. Birds are called flying vertebrates. Actually call them glorified reptiles. They are warm-blooded uh, vertebrates. Their uh, body is covered with the light feathers. Arrangement of these feathers in a particular manner is called pterilosis. Originated in uh, Jurassic and modernized in the Cretaceous period. The flight adaptation in birds can be classified into four categories. Morphological adaptations, anatomical adaptations, physiological adaptations and uh, general adaptations. This is the video by which a bird, uh, how can a bird can uh, fly? This is the, a bird, these are the words in which a legs are used to um, balance the body. Their four limbs are converted into the wings and the wings at the last point, long feathers are present to extend the area of brain. In cervical region, 9 to 25 uh, vertebrae are uh, found in the neck. Therefore, uh, they can rotate their head into 360 degree. Their most of the bones are fused to form a syncecrum or caudal peduncle and their breastbone or sternum have a long in extended part keel provide a space for the attachment of muscles. Their bones are pneumatic, uh, has the uh, air spaces in the uh, bone marrow. The bone marrow is not present uh, to become like the body and a horny beak is present in place of mouth, jaws and teeth to reduce the body weight. And uh, uh, beak is used to pick up the grains and uh, for preening the feathers and protection and uh, defensive and offensive. Some extra air chambers are present in their body uh, except lungs uh, so they can fill the air for the particular time. And uh, you see their vision is very sensitive. Their vision is very efficient. Morphological adaptations. Body contour is very important. A streamlined body is to reduce the uh, air resistance during flight. That is the important thing. Body is covered with the feathers and feathers are of many types on their body. Quail feathers, down feathers, phylloclum feathers, rectal bristles feathers, short tail with long restrictions. These are also feathers, mobile beak covered with a thick, uh, thin membrane rampothica is found in place of mouth and neck. Bipedal locomotion is there with the help of hind limbs. Hind limbs are capable to bear the whole body weight and they are placed in the between to balance, to maintain the balance of the body. The short and stumpy tail is there and long feathers to make a balance or to uh, change the direction during flight. Four limbs are modified into the wings for flying. And uh, this is a video by which uh, these are the words which can fly with the help of wings, large wings. Large wings can elevate the body with the help of the two strokes, the effective stroke and a recovery stroke. When the wing come down, this is the effective stroke and the when goes up, this is the recovery stroke. This stroke is maintained by the muscles, muscles, pectoral muscles. Pectoral muscles are of two types, pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. They are provided with the fast circulation and to provide the uh, and large amount of oxygen to provide energy. And when the wings are come down, these, this, is a, um, this is the pressure on air to uh, uplift, elevate the body. And when they go there, this is a recovery stroke and this both are strokes are maintained by the muscles of wing muscles. These are called wing muscles and wing muscles. The most of the energy is expended into the wing muscles during the flight. Bird can fly with the help of these wings at high altitude and they can migrate a long distances in the air with the help of these wings. These wings are the uh, boon for them. Now, the anatomical adaptations. The flight muscles found in the bones are pneumatic without bones, bone marrow, or their air spaces are present in the bone marrow. 
and uh, uh, visceral bones are completely arranged to save the space. Uh, most of the vertebrae are fused to form syncecrum uh, or caudal peduncle. Vertebrae are heterocellus type. The centrum of the vertebrae is heterocellus or saddle shaped. Ribs double headed and have unseen it processes. Fusion of vertebrae, several vertebrae fused to form syncecrum which has keel for the flying birds. Keel is a space to provide the thoracic muscle for attachment of thoracic muscles. Clavicles and interclavicles unite to form furcula. Presence of furcula is the characteristic feature of birds. Urinary bladder is absent to reduce body weight. Gullet dilated into the crop. Stomach is divided into the gizzard and proventriculus. Crop is the uh, space for temporary storage of food grains and uh, stomach is divided into gizzard and proventriculus. Gizzard is a masticatory organ or grinding the grains uh, and the proventriculus to provide the uh, enzymatic secretions for digestion of food. Only right aortic arches are present and left aortic arches are absent. Skin devoid of glands. And oil and preen glands are only present in the tail region, but uh, except the uh, whole body is uh, there is lack of these glands. Cerebrum of the brain is large, uh, carpora strata is large. Optic lobes are literally placed in the pelvic girdle, ilium is very large, pubis is small, and ischium is backwardly directed. Eggs are large, yoki, enclosed in a hard cell. Embryo, are, embryo have four extra embryonic membranes, amnion, chorion, yolk sac, and allantois. Physiological adaptations. The feeding and digestion. Spongy lungs for aerial respiration, warm-blooded, endothermic, and homeotherm uh, vertebrates animals. These are, their body temperature is constant with respect to the changing environmental temperature. Therefore, they are called homeotherms. Metanephric kidney have three lobed, trilobed uh, um, kidneys there. Uricotelic, these are uh, uricotelic animal, they expel their nitrogenous waste in form of uric acid. Four chambered heart, two auricles and two ventricles are there. Double circulation and uh, red blood cells with the highest amount of hemoglobin is there to uh, carry the large amount of oxygen to various places of body. Senses are much more developed, eyes well developed with the monocular vision and surrounded by sclerotic rings. Single right ovary with the oviduct atrophied. Oviduct is not there, not present. And ovi these are oviparous animals, they lay eggs, not give birth to the young ones. Some general adaptations are there. The scales on the body delimited on the legs only. Only legs have scales, not the entire body is covered with the feathers. Newly hatched may be precocial, precocial or independent to the parents, or may be atricial, dependent on the parents. Nest building and parental care is uh, occur, perching is occur, migration habit is occur. They can migrate from one place to another in search of food or in the for the breeding purpose. Song calls and uh, songs and calls are um, found into into the uh, due to the. Uh, syrinx, presence of syrinx. Presence of syrinx is the characteristic feature of birds. Mating is there, copulation is there, reproduction is there, sexual reproduction is there, and sexual dimorphism is there. Male and female are dimorphically different uh, and morphologically different. The male are mostly males are beautiful and uh, play some courtship behavior. This is all about flight adaptations. Thank you. Thank you very much.